welcome back guys hope everyone is doing well uh, today i am going to show you how you can install wazoo on docker we will follow some scenarios for the docker based installation of wazoo before the installation of wazoo on docker we are going to install docker first and i am installing the docker and wazoo on the linux centos version right so let's move towards the installation i have the access of my machine on the cli the first thing this is the docker installation you have to search on the google simply docker installation or the docker deployment on wazoo and go to this web page and follow the steps of this docker installation the first thing you need to do is to set up a system with requirement needed to run docker and docker compose then install docker and docker compose if you don't have them already you need root privileges to run all the command described whatever the requirements container memory we recommend configuring the docker host with at least 6 gb of memory depending on the deployment and usage wazoo indexer memory consumption varies therefore allocate the recommended memory for a complete stack deployment to work properly we are going to increase max map count on the host wazoo indexer can create many memory maps area mapped areas so you need to set the kernel to give a process at least this value memory map area increase map count on your docker host so we are going to run this command this command run successfully now what is the next step update the vm dot max map count setting in this is or to set this value permanently to verify after rebooting run this if you don't set the max map count on your host the was indexer will not work properly we have already done that and we can also check this configuration going to set this value permanently update the vm dot max map count setting in this to set this value permanently to verify after rebooting run this command so we are going to add this value in this configuration file because after reboot this value will be changed to verify after rebooting run this command we are going to run this command to verify now what is docker engine for linux unix machine docker require and this md64 architecture system running kernel version 3.10 in the terminal and use this command to display and check your kernel version i hope i have yes i have older than or greater than this version requirement i have 4.18 <clears throat> now we are installing centos base then we are going to select this now run this command one by one error here one 
Let's this installation get completed. Enter Y then enter. Now check we have Docker installed successfully or not. That's the error. Let me check the error. Okay, guys, the Docker has been successfully installed. And these are the four commands. Uh, this one, this one, this one. And these four commands have successfully installed the Docker on my Linux machine. Okay, let's move forward. <coughs> Now we are going to install Docker Compose. This uh, currently Docker is active and running. The setup has been downloaded. <coughs> uh, we are going to grant some permissions. Let's check the Docker version. It's 2.12 as shown here. If the command Docker compose fail after installation, create a symbolic link to this or any other directory in this bar. But we have successfully or download it and install the docker compose now we are going to install wazoo on the docker this is the wazoo docker deployment what is usage you can deploy wazoo as a single node or multi node stack we are going to install single node deployment deploy one wazoo manager indexer and the dashboard board deployment use persistence and allow configuring certificates to secure communication between nodes the multiple the multi node stack is the only deployment that contain high availability for the single node deploy deployment we are going to follow these steps clone the wazoo repository to your system let's just run this command it is cloning Maybe it take a bit longer to get this step completed. Until then, I'm going to stop the video to minimize the size of video. Right? Okay, guys, our cloning process has been completed successfully. You can see here receiving updates hundred percent. is the next if yeah 
provide a group of certificate for each node in the stack to secure communication between the nodes you, you have two alternate to provide the certificate generate self assigned certificate for each cluster node we have created a docker image to automate certificate generation using the Azure search generation tool if you your system uses a proxy add the following to the generate index certificate yaml file if not skip this we are not uh, uh, going to install or this is not our scenario right now with the proxy the uh, a complete example looks like we are going to skip this step because we are not installing the proxy base now execute the following command to get the desired certificates let's run this command <coughs> ok we doesn't have this directory let me check ok the error was i am not in the desire directory so i have go to this wazu docker uh you can see here was docker then i have then i have go to this single node directory in this directory you can see here generate indexer dot yml file can be seen when then you have to run this command to generate the certificates hope you guys understood this step what was the error i was not in the directory in the single node because we are going to install single node uh, so we have to go to this wazoo directory then we have to the first step is this then i have checked which directory i have in this directory then i have changed that directory to single node then i am in the single node over here you can see the yaml file then you have then you have to run this command and it will create the certificates successfully so this this save the certificate in this directory provide your own in the case you have your own certificates plugin then as follow in this directory these were the certificates uh, that has been generated now we are going to start was a single node deployment using do docker compose let's uh, run this command okay we have no configuration file okay let's check this again Okay, the process has been completed but I I caught the error by running this command when I run this command it start working I will show you when it gets completed let's see how long it take to get complete Currently, it is downloading uh, Wazoo indexers file, Wazoo server file, and the Wazoo dashboard file. If you can see, the uh, this is the size of Wazoo indexer. This will be the wa size of Wazoo server or Wazoo manager, and this will be the size of Wazoo dashboard. stop the video to minimize the video size what you say guys I'm going to stop the process is still on the way as it 
gets completed it will start looks like this okay you can see here the single node was dash open fit created was active response created was agent less created queue etc logs file beat integration configuration multi groups file beat was indexed data wazoo dashboard custom wazoo manager wazoo indexer and wazoo dashboard all these services has been started right okay let's go if you if i will show you this is my default machine ip and this will be the ip of docker 0 this is another ip let's check on which ip our machine is accessible Wazoo dashboard server is not ready because it is fetching the data. Okay, we have an service running on on the machine right now because right now it is running on the container ok let's wait for a while to get wazoo server and wazoo indexer and wazoo dashboard and start it let's just if any of this IP has got the requirement, no, we have nothing on this IP. Let's check this IP. got nothing on this IP let me check okay guys I have read the note on the Wazu web to know when the wazoo indexer is up the wazoo dashboard container use curl to run multiple queries to wazoo indexer api you can expect to see several we are going to going to get these two errors fail to connect to wazoo indexer port 92 log messages or wazoo dashboard server is not ready yet until the wazoo indexer is started then the setup process continues normally it take about one minute for the wazoo indexer to start up you can find the default wazoo indexer connection credential in the docker compose yaml file so that was the reason we are not going to accept wazoo gui because it take a bit time to get started if i am right no the admin user and admin password will be not the default one okay let before that uh, let me show you why i got the error because before that i have run this command only that's why i got the error earlier we have seen uh, let's see a lot of logs here i am unable to show you so every time you have to run this command as i have
have show you I when I run this command I got the error uh, when I run this command or oh, the whole process get started at completed as you can see here and we have the GUI access over here right now okay let's get the was indexer credential in this configuration file okay we have yes we have this configuration file here <clears throat> okay we have the indexer name and this is the password let's see able to log in by using this user and yeah that's right as they have said we can find our wazoo indexer credential on this configuration file for that purpose you have to go this configuration file and you can find this default username and password and how you can go to this path first you have to set for this wazoo docker you are going to change to this directory then we will find all these directory then we will go to the single node installation because we have installed single node then we will check and here is this docker compose file on which you can find your username and password so we have got the as sometime this error can be solved by uh, by refreshing this page or by restarting the machine because because of uh, some resources like ram cpu and memory it will not get started normally right now i have showed you i haven't changed anything i haven't done any configuration or anything this is how you can install docker oh, wazu on the docker hope you guys like my video and kindly share it with your colleagues friends and class fellows whoever need this kind of guidance if you face any error any query you can comment or below my video until then stay tuned guys thank you for watching goodbye